Good morning, YouTube. So, today is my wife and I's anniversary. We've been married 23 years. We've been together, we've been together 27 years, nearly 30 years. Um, and so about 27 years ago, um, this young girl, <laughs> this very young girl met this very rough looking dude. Now, my exterior appearance <laughs> was very bikerish, rock and rollish. Um, inside, I was a very nice guy. <clears throat> and it's true. I had a very hard outer appearance. And I had kind of a very rugged attitude. But when this dude met this girl the world changed for me and her as well but i was a rough dude <laughs> and uh i had a very bad attitude and i acted like i was a tough guy and i tried to be a tough guy I i've been in way too many physical altercations to count but inside the true me had a heart and the ability to love and I fell in love with her <laughs> so long ago so long ago but I fell in love with this girl very quickly her uh, way back then when I was this rugged rock and rollish bikerish wearing leather and flannels and look at the patches all over that jacket that guy met that this girl and his his whole world changed drastically I fell in love for the first time ever I had girlfriends before I uh, I never felt the way I did when I met her instantly there was something there and there was something about her that was so sweet and so sincere and so true and so honest I didn't know how old she was and maybe I should have asked but when I met her I didn't care and, and, and I wouldn't have cared if she told me because there was something very special about her she was 12 I was 18 maybe you can tell I really couldn't maybe I was blinded by the fact that she was just simply amazing probably and she liked me <laughs> which was very important and I didn't even try really I, I I said hi to her one day I had a, a paper sack full of clothes because I was staying at a friend's house and I asked her if she would hold it for me while I left in my great big green Buick and I, I, I was going <laughs> to the liquor store and I saw her, and, and instantly I walked up to her and I asked her if she would hold this bag. I didn't, I didn't, I was going to take it with me. I just wanted to talk to her. And she said yes, and she waited there until I got back. And she was standing there, and I, and, and I saw her again, and I talked to her again. And then time went on. And we became friends, and then we became boyfriend and girlfriend. And then eventually, she became my wife. And we got married. And we spent so much time together before we got married that getting married only made sense because we wanted to spend every day together. Before we got married, you couldn't separate us. We didn't want to be apart. We loved each other's company and we loved each other. So I asked her to be my wife. She said yes, and we got married. We got married at my pastor's house when I was a, a, a very young boy, and my mom and dad took me to church. I had a pastor, and his name was Marion, Marion Baker. 
He was my pastor, and he was a fantastic man, and he moved to St. Louis, Missouri, and me and my wife went there, and he married us in his apartment. Not much of a wedding. Not a lot of money was spent. Uh, the cost of the trip to go in a hotel was about the amount of money we spent on our wedding. We didn't care. We didn't want a big wedding. We didn't want some extravagant, ridiculously expensive wedding, a big blown out deal. We wanted to be married. We wanted to spend the rest of our life together. We wanted to spend every day with one another. That's just what we wanted. So we started a family. <clears throat> we started this family. That's my son, who is 23 in December. 23 years old, he'll be in December. This boy has turned out to be a fantastic young man. But my gosh, I, was, I wasn't, I think I was maybe 23 in this picture. Our firstborn, our first home. We were happy and proud to have our family together. <laughs> it was great. My wife and I spent a lot of time together. Um, you know, we, we would go out and hang out and, 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 and just we just loved each other. And nothing's changed. That love was so strong and that bond was so tight that, that it, nothing was going to break it. So we started building a family. <laughs> oh, look at that hairdo. Look at that hairdo. My wife, my daughters. This was before Emily. This was pre-Emily. We had these kids, and uh, we had our family. And this, <laughs> this innocent-looking woman <laughs> hooked up with this scruffy-looking guy. But she loved me, and she showed me love that I had never known before. I never, I never knew love like that. I never knew what it was to like to feel love like that. I never knew what it was like to feel those kind of emotions for one person. I had a tough time growing up, and I watched a lot of people divorce and separate and leave one another. And and you thought people, the the people that loved each other truly really didn't love each other. And then you start seeing people separate. And then in your mind you start thinking that that's what marriage is, and it's not. It is absolutely not. Marriage is what I have. Marriage is, is, is my wife and myself spending all these years together. And, and, and it's only gotten better and better and better. And the love and that bond has grown stronger and stronger. And every time we went through something together, we had children together, we, we, we had a death in the family together, you know, we, we, anything, anything together, um, good and bad, only strengthened that bond. And we went through some bad times, sad times, tough times, scary times. We started out so young, life was very scary to have a child at that age. Terrifying. But we was a team, and we worked together, and we, we did our best together. And we never left one another's side, nor did we ever want to. So, today marks 23 years with my wife. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. And, and, and I am a little bit emotional because I, I feel very, very blessed. Believe me, over the years I've seen marriages fall apart. And, uh, and I always thought that that's what marriage was. And, 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 and this marriage is rock solid forever. Until we grow old and leave this world forever. I love you, wife, very much. Thank you. 23 years. Thank you so much. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. And you gave me some of the best gifts 
this life could ever give. And that's no joke. My children mean the world to me. And anybody that knows me knows how much my children mean to me. Anybody that knows me knows how much I love my wife. The love of my life. And uh, I needed her at the moment that I met her. And I decided my, to try my best to hang on to her. And she's not going anywhere. She's mine for keeps. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today is my anniversary. And it's awesome. I don't need gifts. My wife and I don't need gifts. We don't need to go anywhere. Because uh, we feel that the gift is the fact that we still have each other. Life is scary and crazy and anything can happen and we're still together. And we always will be. See you guys in the next clip. I'm thinking... I'm thinking today... I'm going to work on this. My daughter bought me this. And, uh, and she also just brought me... The other day she brought me this. Which is... If I can get it out... Urgh. This. This is the stand, a Gundam stand, to hold this so I can display it. So it's complete now. I'm ready to build it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that today. I am going to make that a separate video um, and, and post it as a separate video. It's going to take a while. I'm thinking it's going to, it's all snap together stuff. But I'm thinking it's going to take a while. It, it will be time lapse, but still, to do a build like this, it's probably going to take me a couple hours. I've never built one, so sometimes Lego builds, and I, I'm pretty good at building Legos, sometimes Lego builds take me a couple hours. So I'm going to work on that video later on today. I think right now, Emily and myself, before it starts to rain, are either going to get in a bike ride or some longboarding. And uh, I might get drone footage of that. I don't know, but let me check... Let me check the, uh, let me check the wind. Ah, come here, phone. Oh, don't start recording. Let me, let me check the wind speed. Um, I am sticking to my rule. So, we've only got five mile an hour winds, so that's good. I'm sticking to my rule of, um, it looks windier than that, of, of not flying in anything over 15 miles an hour. I'm sticking to that rule. I've taken chances. I've taken risks with this quadcopter and flown it in. I flew it one time in 22 mile an hour winds and I had it on follow me. And it got sketchy up there. With the three axis gimbal you couldn't tell on the footage but it got sketchy up there. So I am going to I'm going to check the wind speed on another um, app just to see uh, let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, five mile an hour. So I can fly in that. So maybe I'll, I'll grab all the quadcopter gear and Emily and myself will go and get some footage. Uh, and we'll, maybe we'll skate or something. We'll throw the boards on the golf cart and we'll go do some longboarding or something and have the quadcopter watch us. They're always watching. Always watching. Well, at least mine's always watching me, usually. Not, not watching other people, because that's just weird. Okay. Um, this Gundam build <laughs> is going to have to be... I'm, I'm going to have to slowly work on this and time-lapse it and work on it little by little, because I've been working on this thing for probably, what, a couple hours? Maybe, maybe an hour. Almost hour and a half. Probably an hour, maybe an hour and a half. This is what I've gotten done. I've gotten his head, his torso, and an arm. So I've still got... <laughs> this is my little workstation. I've still got all these. These haven't even been unwrapped yet. I've been working with these. And this is what I've gotten done. So this, uh, this Gundam build is going to take a while. I kind of imagined that it would. It's just a lot of pieces, and it's a master grade build. And even though all these pieces snap together, 
it's a lot of tiny pieces and they have to snap together and, and go together in a way that it can transform. So, the Gundam build video won't be up anytime soon. I've got to save all this time-lapse footage and save it all on the computer. So, as I do it little by little and time-lapse little by little, I'll end up with a complete video. It's going to take a while. It's going to be sweet when it's done. It's just going to look amazing when it's done, but it's just going to take some time. It already looks cool. Yeah, it does look cool. It really does look cool because, um, almost like a Transformer. Yeah, that's but what I thought. But they're cool. All, it's completely articulated and it will transform. It's just time consuming. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult. Um, at first I was like struggling with the instructions, but I've kind of, I've kind of gotten used to them now. So it's all good. It, it's coming together and it's coming together pretty cool. You know, I got to get the left arm done. It's just going to take a while. So me and Emily are going to go inside and have a little lunch. And I think we're going to go on a golf cart cruise. I'm going to get the quadcopter out. Um, I think I think the the wind isn't too bad. So I'm going to get the, the drone out and maybe go do some flying. But right now it's lunchtime. I'll see you in the next clip.
I made an inch close to the land um, at the park. That's where my dad's phone was drawn at. And I think he's getting ready to land it, but he must be crazy because he had me lay underneath it and he and he was flying above it. So he must be crazy or something because it was really scary. Now I'm gonna show you my dad. I might start vlogging, I have no clue. Alrighty guys, uh, drone flight is done for the day. I am going to work on my uh, my Gundam. I just knocked a piece off. I'm going to work on my Gundam a little more and uh, work on this guy. And uh, it's it's really fun. It's really relaxing just kind of sitting there building on this thing. Um, it's not messy, no glue, no paint. You just, I mean a few decals, but you just kind of put them together and, and, and slowly work on them and, and I kind of like it. I'm taking my time and just really enjoying it. So I dropped Emily off at the American Girl Doll store uptown so she's kind of looking around up there. The wife just called me and she's heading home. So um, I'm going to uh, end the vlog so I can spend some time with her on this day, anniversary day. Uh, I got her I got her a card and, and, and I'm going to cook dinner for her and stuff like that. And, and uh, her favorite dessert is angel food. Uh, cake with strawberries and whipped cream so gonna have that for dessert and uh, gonna spend some quality time with the wife so so uh, there you have it guys that is today's vlog thanks for watching this episode of the daily vlog and I will see you in tomorrow's video bye everything okay just doing a selfie <laughs> You know, the duck lip thing, I, I think, has really gone out of fashion. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're trying to bring it back. Nah. Are you trying to bring the duck lips back? Nah. The peace sign and the duck lips? And no one has it. Everybody has it. Um, not everybody. Well, then you are caught up on the update for social media. Oh, <laughs> see what you made me do? <laughs> so, but no, but you just said the duck lip thing is not a thing anymore. Yeah, but then I thought of musically, and you, everybody does it on musically. It's strange. You just go. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do they poke out their lips? <laughs> why? Why are they? I mean, is that is that to make you look like you got big lips, full lips? It's called duck lips. Right, but 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 when when they do it, is it to make it look like, or doing the pouty lip thing? Is it supposed to be attractive or? Yeah, it's supposed to be. Because it's not. No, it's not. Especially when you poke your butt out and do it. <laughs> well, I think you got the duck lip thing down pretty well.